Okay, a couple of people have um, have asked me to be a little bit clearer about how to use variables in this sort of uh, batch file animation, and I think that's a fair point. Um, uh, one of the advantages of batch files is there's a relatively small number of commands um, to learn, but the uh, the challenge fun uh, of batch file commands is that there isn't a lot of documentation, and you really need to play around with with it to find out what's possible. Um, other good sources of um, of information I find are places like uh, Stack um, Overflow, and indeed other uh, YouTube postings. So particularly um, the variables that are used for this sort of um, a batch file animation. Uh, the key uh, the key batch file command is really set, and as with any batch file command, you've got the option of doing the slash um, question mark to get a, a a good set of information about uh, about the command. Um, the basic uh, way to define a variable, certainly a string uh, variable, is to have a construct uh, like this, and then to access that um, that variable uh, using uh, percentage signs either side of the variable in echo or if or indeed set again, um, and that works well. Uh, with a few variables. If you've got lots to define lots of variables, such as all the rows uh, in the batch file animation, you really need to do that in some sort of loop. Um, for instance, you could do that with a, um, a for loop. Um, and for instance, if you imagine that this only has uh, three, uh, three rows, um, you could define the, um, the, the variable uh, doing something like, uh, like this. And in this case, you, you define three three variables: R1, R2, R3, and you've given them the values uh, A1, A2, A3, for instance. Um, and so that that's certainly the way that the uh, uh, the rows are uh, the row variables are created in uh, in this sort of batch file animation, and they're they're echoed uh, simil similarly using a, a for loop, um, and then uh, e echoed. Uh, in, in a fairly uh, similar way, but in this case, rather than putting the uh, percentage signs either side of the variable, you're using um, a delayed expansion option, which uh, won't work on the command line, so I'm just showing you how it might work. But th that allows you to then have a, a combination of, um, of uh, exclamation mark and percentage signs. And it's that combination of, of exclamation and uh, percentage signs that um, that's partic particularly useful for making uh, compact um, uh, scripts um, and uh, e using variables uh, dy dynamically in batch file animation. Um, so actually giving you an example in a batch file uh, of that. Okay, so here, here you've, you've got the um, the for loop uh, creating the variable that we, we saw earlier in the uh, the command line, um, and then after that you've got a, an, another for loop uh, that's going to um, echo the variables uh, you created with the first for loop, and you can do that in a batch file because uh, you can use this set local enable delayed expansion, which allow you to use uh, both the exclamation mark and the percentage. Um, so if you look at that, first of all you're uh, creating the variables, in this case the three rows, one, two, three, a one, a two, a three, um, and then afterwards you're uh, displaying them using the uh, the echo command uh, with the exclamation marks uh, a1 a2 a3 um, and and that works uh, works very well the other thing I wanted to talk about is the use of um, of, of a, a dynamic insect index to access part of a string um, and a string uh, variables we saw earlier on, a string is something like, uh, like in this case I've defined a string um, S as being uh, A, B, C, D. Um, in this case I'm, uh, you'll notice I'm, I, I use the speech marks around the set the command. You don't have to do it, but I find it makes it much clearer. Um, just to emphasize, for instance, there are no trailing white spaces, which you wouldn't normally, uh, normally see. And it's also useful uh, if you're defining numbers and you've got brackets and so on. Um, it, it's a good, a good tip I certainly find. Uh, but in in this case, you've you've got that um, string defined A B C D, and I'm going to access a, 
a part of it using the, uh, the, cl the classing, classic uh, indexing construct. So percentage s colon tilde uh, two. Uh, in in this case, that's a third character. Remember, you start uh, you start counting from zero. So zero, one, two. That's a c. Um, and then you only want to to uh, to output one uh, one character. So the the result of that uh, in this case is echo c and it comes out of C. Um, and that's very good, but very often you want to, to rather than having a fixed um, index 2, you want to make that uh, uh, dynamic and some sort of variable um, as well. And you can do that with this combination of um, exclamation mark and percentage again. So in this, this is a for loop, um, and you, you've got the same uh, string, uh, A, B, C, D, um, and rather than having the two I in it, you're putting the um, the index from the for loop um, there in the middle of the string, um, and you're running that, and that allows you then to to uh, in turn echo a b c d, um, and that works well for a for loop. Um, you can do something fairly similar um, using a, a variable, a number you've defined yourself in, in another variable. Um, and you can see here you've got the uh, within the string um, the string s which is uh, a b c d um, you've got the variable you defined um, uh, surrounded by the percentage sign uh, in this case it's got the value 2 which is a third character the result of that is, uh, is c um, and that works well very often though in a um, the batch file animation I certainly find that the string itself is is relatively stable, and you want to make the index much more dy dynamic. So in practice, you want to put the um, the percentage signs around the s, and you want to put the exclamation mark around the uh, the index. Um, and the the way to do that is to uh, use a call sign in front of uh, echo or set, um, and that breaks the context. And then you can you can have that similar. Uh, the, the construct where the, um, the string itself is surrounded by percentage signs and the index is surrounded by exclamation mark. You need to remember to put, it doesn't show here, but you need to remember to put double uh, exclamation marks uh, when you use a call uh, in front of the command because it strips, uh, it strips one set off. Um, and that works well and, and it's fairly quick. Um, let me give you a, an example of, uh, of that. So looking at this um, matrix uh, dripping character um, animation, um, you've you've got here first of all the uh, the displaying the rows. You've got a for for loop displaying the rows, um, and you can see that it's uh, it's echoing the rows and the rows the row variables are surrounded by exclamation marks, and the index which is the for for loop index percentage percentage y. You've got uh, double percentages because it's within a batch file. Um, is is here and, and that allows you to um, to output your rows. In this case, there are 50 rows without having to individually say uh, echo row, row one, echo row, row two, etc. Um, the the other example we've got here is echoing uh, or accessing part of the string. Um, in this case, the string is the character set that's used um, to build the, um, the the new row. And the, the character set that it comes from, the characters that are dripping down are, are one of these uh, characters highlighted here. Um, so that, that's a fairly stable uh, variable. And you're accessing that um, and building that with a, r a random selection of that, uh, of those characters. Um, so I, in this case, is, is built in a for loop. It's a, a random uh, one of the, the 70 uh, characters. Um, so the uh, the index i is uh, changes each time. It's using the uh, exclamation mark around the the i, uh, but the actual character um, set itself, the variable, has got the um, the percentage sign. And, and I've used double percentage sign because of uh, I've got to use a call um, to start with, uh, and that works well. Um, using the call is the I think the the least intuitive part of 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 it, um, so I think in 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 summary, the um, it's certainly possible to make very compact code. You've got to 
to build your variables um, and display them using uh, for loops. Um, good sources of information other than other YouTube uh, postings are places like uh, Stack uh, Overflow. And I think the key thing is just to um, play around and see what's uh, what's possible, which is really half the fun with uh, with batch files. Um, I hope that helps. Um, enjoy. Thank you very much.